Hey everyone, today I'll be going over how to set up Melanie verifications in your Discord server. To get started, you'll want to go to the Melanie website and create a server. Once you've created your server, go to the Discord integrations tab, then verifications. At this point, you'll get a prompt asking you to enable the module. Verification types is our approach in verifications. They let you make multiple types of verification so you can do verification for departments and regular members. To get started with verification types, click the Create New Verification Type button. Then enter the name, in my case it will be Verification. While optional, it's recommended to have verification roles and unverified roles. If you don't have these, go to your Discord server and create them. Usually, unverified users have no access other than the verifications channel. Once you've made the roles, you can click the Refresh button next to the drop down menu. Now, I have my verified and unverified role. I'm only going to select one for each, but you can also select multiple if you wish. We have four different approach types. The approach types are the way that members are verified. You can do direct message, which means that we send a DM to the user when they join your server asking them to verify. You can do static button, which sends a message inside your Discord server that members have to use to verify. You can do welcome message, which sends a message into your verification channel that welcomes users and asks them to verify. Or you can use slash command, which requires members to run the slash verify command to verify. For this video, I'll be doing static button. Now I can create verification requirements. There's two different requirements, group checks and Roblox account checks. Roblox account checks require a user's Roblox account to be over a certain amount of days old before verifying with this type. Group checks require a user to be in a group and have a specific role to verify. However, with group types, you can also make it so the user only has to be in the group and not have a role. As you can see, there's an optional switch for requiring a specific role. Minimum rank is the lowest rank that a user can have to verify. Exact role is the exact role they have to have to verify. We will not be using verification types for this demo. However, they're easy to set up. If you have questions, you can always go to our support server. Now that my verification type is created, I'm going to click the Create button. And as you can see, it is now shown up as enabled in this box. As you may notice, we've selected no channel for the verification message to send to. This is because we haven't selected a verified channel. Go to your Discord server and create a verifications channel that only unverified users can see. Once you've done this, click the refresh button next to the verified channel dropdown to get the new channel. Now you can save your changes and go back to the editor for the verification type. And I will now be able to send the message into the channel. As you can see, I have two messages, one that the channel configuration has been set and the other one is the verification message. Plus users can edit this verification message to be however they want it to look. Users will be able to verify by clicking verify with Melanly. This will change their username to their Roblox username and it will give them the verified role. As you can see, I do not have the verified role right now, I have no roles. Once I click verify with Melanly, it will give me the verified role. In most cases, it would also change my Discord username, but because I'm owner of the server, it does not have permissions to do this. Once the user verifies, it removes their unverified role and gives them the verified role. The Roblox username sync is optional. You can turn it off or turn it on. As you can see by the dropdown, two of the options, direct message and welcome message, are disabled. This is because I have not set this verification type as my primary verification type. To do this, exit the pop-up and select this verification type as the main verification type and save. Now the option for direct messages and welcome messages have been enabled. If you disable auto verification, users will not be automatically verified when they join your server. Melanie verification is free to all users and we strongly believe it's the best option to add Roblox verification to your server. It lets you do verifications for department members and much more. If you have any questions, reach out to us via our support server.